Welcome back to Basta Plays Technic. I'm Basta, uh, also known as Matt, more commonly known as Matt, sometimes known as Basta. And today I'm going to be playing some Minecraft Technic, as the name would imply. And last time uh, we made a bunch of good progress getting some machines set up. Uh, this time I've been just going through and smelting some ores. Uh, but more importantly, uh, I, I made a few changes while you guys weren't here. I added a second generator. Uh, what this does is when this guy really gets going uh, it's gonna it's gonna pull these wooden planks out and it's gonna it's gonna be able to run these two in concert with one another and it produces a lot more power so just to give you an idea of how much power it produces I'm just gonna grab this stack of 60 wooden planks out of here cut it in half take this stick that in there so that they're both going at the same time and you can see it's it's pretty consistently around 130. During the day, uh, I added a few more solar cells. There's now five of them up there. Soon enough, we'll have eight, and we'll have enough to combine it into an LV solar cell or a solar panel rather. Uh, and during the day, those will all uh, kind of work in concert, and, and th this produces a lot of power. In fact, during the day when it's sunny out, we we get a surplus of power, which is pretty good, especially when there's no machines running. But right now. Uh, I guess the machines aren't running. Get this refined iron out of here. Uh, I've been doing some other stuff. I went around and I harvested some cactus for something that we're going to need. And I also built this bit back here. Uh, you may have seen it. Uh, these are tanks. And basically it's just, you, you make a, ch a chest shape with glass. I can show you real quick. And that makes a tank. We don't want to make any more because we've got plenty of them. And, in fact, I don't even think we'll fill up this many. But what's going to go in these tanks is going to be our next surprise. Now, these guys, obviously, are not producing nearly enough power. Uh, during the night, <clears throat> these solar panels aren't really doing a whole lot. Uh, I did replace the, the wiring up there with some of the diamond wiring, but that, I mean, that still hasn't even done a whole lot for us. Uh, in the meantime, I've been kind of letting this run a little bit while I've been doing my work. Uh, outside of Minecraft, you can see it's it's really getting down there. And with the two generators, there's just enough power to make it go long enough. Uh, every now and then, a monster will drop in there, and uh, so that's pretty good. You can see there's a gem. I think that's a ruby. And every now and again, you'll see some uh, some copper ore going by or some iron ore. But what's really concerning, though, is that this chest is getting pretty full. So what we're going to want to do is kind of empty out this this chest by getting rid of all the crap. Now, you know, how do you get rid of all this? Well, we've got our transmutation table, transmutation tablet rather, and what you can do is you can just drop a stack on there and just go straight into this EMC slot. And if you drop enough in there, you can... I don't have enough. I don't have enough stuff. I don't know how much a diamond is worth. It's worth a lot, isn't it? Throw some dirt in, maybe. No. Maybe. Maybe some iron. Come on, help me out here. Well, you can get some. You can get some diamond out of it. I've gotten a pretty significant amount of diamond. You saw how much diamond I I used, and you can see there's some diamond. I have been getting some uranium out of this uh, quarry, which is pretty good. But like I said, this is getting pretty full, and if God forbid I forget about it. W the last thing we need is to end up with um, a chest full of just useless cobblestone and you know no nothing to do with it. So basically I've got these cobblestone waterproof pipes. Waterproofing is pretty easy to make. If you get a cactus, uh, no longer can you just take a cactus and just craft it into cactus green, what you have to do is you have to put it in a furnace. And then if you put some of this cactus green in your crafting table, you get pipe waterproof. When you combine pipe waterproof with uh, just regular pipe, which I don't have on me, it turns that pipe into waterproof pipe. Pretty straightforward. And what we're going to do with the pipe waterproofing, oh, look, look at how fast this goes. I'll show you, uh, since this has power, Look at how amazingly fast that is. That's wonderful. Oh, so good. You can see these guys are really starting to pick up now. and They're, they're running pretty much constantly. 
Uh, so that's that's pretty good. You can see it's still not daytime yet. Still don't have the, the little light there. But basically, what we're going to be building today it's called an energy condenser. And an energy condenser is like a chest, but it's capable of storing a lot more crap. So I can take these rubies out of here just because we can use rubies. We can always use rubies. And uh, also, uh, I, I should let you guys know I did turn tree capitator back on. And it's only because I felt like I was spending a lot of time cutting down trees just to clear the, the land. You can see everything's a lot more clear now. Uh, it's very difficult to see when, when there's so many trees around. Uh, I was getting tired of being blown up by creepers. You can see there's still the holes from last time. I started filling them in, but I got bored. Um, is this a rubber tree? We don't want, we don't want any more of those stupid rubber trees. So more creeper holes. Um, basically, there's been there's been creepers everywhere. So rather than you know having creepers spawn all over, I just turned tree capitator back on. And in fact, that's where I got all that wood that's powering those generators. Just going around picking these guys up. The uh, tundras with the uh, those tall pine trees, those are the best it seems when it comes to gathering wood. Even better, well, even better than, but not in the same way as a lumberjack. Lumberjacks are pretty good at getting wood, but um, they don't actually make the wood. They kind of just cut the trees down. And, you know, we don't need any lumberjacks because we've got tree capitator. Although, if, if there were lumberjacks, I could probably put them to work, because there are a lot of trees in this world, and I really don't like those those big ones. In fact, in retrospect, I probably made a, a pretty big mistake by, by kind of starting my world in this silly forest with all these stupid rubber trees. One of the other nice things about having a tree capitator installed is that if you, if you kind of just wait a few minutes, you, you generally get a lot of saplings, which... You can burn pretty easily, you can trade them in for EMC. Uh, and the alternative is that apples drop, and apples are obviously a, a good thing to have. Plant another rubber tree or two, but basically for right now, what we want to do is start running some pipelines to get some, uh, some of the, the liquid that we're going to be bringing over here into these pipes. So. First things first, I'm going to cut a hole in the wall here, and we're going to get some cobblestone waterproof pipe. Ah, uh, this fence post, I don't care about that, can go somewhere. Let's see, can I, now I can't really see on top, can I? Oh, I'm just going to put it, I'm going to put it somewhere. I don't even care where. How about there? That seems good. Just get it out of the way here. And actually we're going to need to cut two holes in the wall because I want to fit through. And we've got this waterproof pipe and you can see it's got the little bits of cactus green in it. Oh god, get rid of this stupid sapling. And also I'm going to leave this, this pipe above ground because if we, um, if we put it below ground, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Probably not much, but it's um, it's fine being above ground. I might actually just dig a hole so that I don't have to go up and down over over some of these um, little hills and valleys here. But again, that's just for convenience's sake. You know, I'm pretty good at digging holes. That's that's one of the few things I can be good at. You know, hard manual labor, just clicking my mouse button. Working up a sweat. You know, I'm a programmer. It's what I do. It's what I do for a living. And, um, you know, it, you get good at it after a while. Again, I'm just doing this uh, to save... To save some effort. Uh, and, and to save some pipe as well. Because we're going we're gonna to need a lot of pipe to do this. In fact, I think uh, the other oil and... Uh, volcano and everything else. I don't, I'm kind of ruining the, the surprise of what I'm doing. In fact, you guys probably already know what I'm doing, uh, if you, you're the least bit familiar with the Technic pack. But basically, uh, we're going to pump some liquid. 
Oh, oh, not what I wanted to do. Ugh, I'm undoing my work. Fortunately, it wasn't a whole lot. Some more of this. Some more of this. Ah, oh, there we go. Some more pipe. Look at that pipe. Look at that beautiful pipeline right through the creeper hole. And away it goes. Still got about 250 meters left. Oh man, this is going to be... I actually don't know how far this stuff... Oh god, a fucking creeper. Oh, there's one down there. You see him? These guys, they're vicious. Honest to God. What's with this skeleton? It's like not even trying to aim. really dark down here, too. This is, this is probably a hazard. Oh, God. Creeper holes. Man, this place is just a nightmare. Who would who would ever say to themselves, oh, yeah, this is a perfect place to live? I would. You want to know why? Because I'm Basta. And uh, Basta's short for badass, as it turns out. But you didn't know that. Uh, in, in Old English, actually. Uh, Basta is a direct translation of Holy shit, this guy is for real. Alright, just gonna... Just gonna keep tunneling along with this. I'm not really tunneling, though. This is kind of just... This is some hard manual labor. I figured I'd save this for, for you guys. Um, I don't know if you, you're at all interested in, in what I'm doing now, laying down this pipe. I figured I could provide some pretty decent commentary, but it seems like... Seems like that that's really not my strong suit. So, I've been doing this, um, and aside from, oh god, this is still so far away, aside from the things that I've said, I, I haven't really done a whole lot. I had to go exploring a little bit to find that cactus, uh, but once I found the one cactus, uh, I've been basically using my transmutation table for just about everything. So, uh, yeah, I have another stack. Another stack after that. And it's still 188 meters away. Jesus Christ almighty. Oh boy. Alright. I think I'd rather have flaxseed than non-flaxseed. So I'll keep that. Um, I don't even know what flax does. If I remember correctly, it lets you make like like rope or something? Maybe that was hemp. I'm not sure. There's so much stuff in this Technic mod pack. I, I don't think I'll ever, even ever begin to cover half of it. Maybe maybe not even like a tenth of it. It's gonna be... the saddest thing you've ever seen. The other thing I should note is that um, I'm, I'm powering this off of redstone engines. In order to... Um, do this effectively, I'm eventually going to need to up this with some electrical engines or some combustion engines. Oh god, a tree right in the way. I suppose that's to be expected though. Yeah, redstone engines, as you've seen, are they're pretty pathetic. Man, I just ran out of pipe, and I'm I'm still 130 meters away. So what do we need? We need two more stacks of 64 at least. So we'll get we'll get three stacks of 64. I'm gonna put this bit of fence back actually now because 
we, you know, we've got the pipe in there. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to, to keep it around. So uh, I'm going to go back inside. You can see in my garbagey chest there, uh, I've kind of emptied most of it out. Put the cactus green away. Oh, we're going to need more cactus green, won't we? Oh, man. What's in here? Oh, so much cobblestone. Cobblestone and uh, transmuter. Uh, God, why, why can't I get any more diamonds? That's a, the better question. With this, what if I put some wood in? I know wood is actually worth a surprising amount. Um, oh, in the meantime, what we can do is we can build something relatively simple. Uh, covalence dust, which is made through a variety of different things. Uh, actually, we need a chest first, don't we? Gonna make a chest first. <laughs> you guys know I'm, I'm the worst at crafting. I'm gonna put a diamond on top of the chest. I'm gonna put some cyan, some green, and some blue covalence dust down on the crafting bench, and along the sides we get some shit I don't remember. Um, some stone and some, oh god it erased it. Some stone and some iron. So there's the iron, there's the stone, there's the chest, green, cyan, blue, and we have an alchemical chest. <clears throat> now an alchemical chest is special. It's different than a regular chest, and really it does one thing, and that's provide a huge fucking amount of space. <laughs> and so, that's really the only benefit to it. You can keep a shitload of stuff in it. Oh god, this is empty already. Alright, well here's what we have to do then. Um, toss in some more wood. And cut up some more wood that in. <clears throat> oh, goodness. Everything's running again. Running smoothly. Back on, back on schedule. Oh, so much, so much wood that I barely know what to do with myself. Look, these two furnaces are practically going off the wall. But this, again, is, is why we need, uh, why we need a new source of power besides just the solar cells and the generators. That quarry takes up a ton of power and, um, you know, obviously the more power the faster it'll go. And, oh god, this is filling up already. Got some uranium though, got a ton of coal. Look at all that coal, that'll last us a while. Um, get some more of this. We'll also get the tin ore out. Uh, we can, we can macerate that. This, um, we'll just take all those and we'll stick them, stick them in there. Got a ton of copper, and there's some iron. We'll, we'll leave the iron there for now. That's fine. And so we're generating electricity like nobody's business. Nobody's gonna slow us down. Um, the only thing that's gonna slow us down is our lack of glass right now because we need to make some more pipes. And basically, we need a ton of glass. It's so much glass. I'm gonna stop there and also kind of there we go. Yeah, just dump in some covalence dust. Oh, covalence dust is so expensive. Um, in fact, if I take this out of here, oh, we can get some diamond. Look at that. Put that diamond away. Put it away for another day. <coughs> oh God, it's wonderful. We have some redstone engines, and I'll show you what we're gonna do with those in a little bit. Um, we're gonna need we're gonna need more glass, though. So I'm I'm gonna keep making glass, and once I have enough materials for us to finish that pipeline, uh, we'll we'll take another look at this, and then we'll head on. All right, everyone, um, I'm back, heading. I'm down right next to the the oil wells, about 20 meters away, and you might be able to guess what I'm doing now. Uh, basically, I'm just mining away some of this 
stupid cobblestone that nobody likes. Every volcano seems to be made out of it, and it's good for nothing but pissing around and decoration. And even then, it, it doesn't even look all that good. So, in lieu of, you know, I don't even know. I don't even know what's what it's in lieu of. Uh, I'm just going to finish laying down this pipe. Oh, man, this is some good pipe. And here we are. Some lava. This is the lava that we were mining out before. And what I'm going to do is I've made this pump. I'm just going to stick the pump there. But we need a way to power the pump. And so I brought these redstone engines along. We're going to put three of them onto the pump. And then we need a way to power the redstone engines. So... Do you have sticks? Yeah, stick. Make some levers. Oh, God. Levers are so... You know, if I had known the untapped potential... Are these not... Are they not doing anything yet? Um, the untapped power of pieces of wood and cobblestone. Let me tell you. So here's what's happening. This um, tube is going to come out of the pump, and the pump is basically just going to suck up all of the um, all of the lava. Turn on this third redstone engine. It's going to take a little bit for it to figure out what the hell it's doing. And basically, um, if we wait here... Oh! Oh, God. I almost fell in there. See how it's, it's sucking it up, and it's going to take it, and it's going to pump it all the way back. So why are we pumping back lava is a good question. That's, that's the question, I think, on everybody's mind. Uh, especially when we're so far away. Well, there's two reasons why we're doing this. The first reason is because we can make a really efficient source of energy out of lava. Uh, from what I understand, it might not actually be that efficient. And if that's the case, I'm going to be pretty disappointed because I just spent all this time running this pipeline. But there's an added benefit. And the added benefit is that um, out of the deal... We're gonna get uh, we're gonna get some oil because there's this huge oil geyser right here, and we can just uh, we can get some oil out of it. So this is gonna pump back uh, a ton of lava, and what I'm gonna do in the interim, um, because this is just gonna take absolutely forever. I'm going to kind of go to the midway point and I'm just I'm just going to kind of wait at the midway point for the lava to be sucked out. And once I'm at the midway point <clears throat> when the oil wells and home are equidistant, um, I'm just going to kind of build like a little temporary house. Uh, I've got some food on me, some apples and some steak, and I'm just going to AFK for a while. Uh, as I've been doing for for the uh, various maceration and smelting tasks. And uh, in that time, it should basically just suck up all the lava and um, stick it in my, in my tanks. And that's exactly what we're looking for. Uh, in fact, as long as I'm <clears throat> just pissing around anyway, I might as well just cut down some of these trees. Get the wood, make some trips back and Fourth. Oh man, I, I could just make an afternoon out of this. Let me tell you. I'm not going to spend an afternoon though, because I got other things that I have other things that I need to do with my day. And even though you guys are important to me as viewers, you know, I I really, you know, I can't spend all my time dedicating it to my users. I, I you know, I, I appreciate you guys and I appreciate your viewership, but I don't appreciate you enough to you know, neglect my responsibilities. Uh, outside of what I need to do. So, um, oh, look at that sweet lava move. Look at it go. Alright, um, 
Well, I will see you guys in a bit, and we'll, uh, I'll, I'll show you what progress I've made once, once there's been some progress. Alright guys, uh, I'm back. Uh, I'm just cleaning out my inventory a little bit. Uh, one thing that I did was I would harvested a piece of obsidian, and I just uh, used the transmutation table to make a few more. I got four of them. Uh, basically the plan is to take... Oh jeez, this doesn't look good. To take um, the obsidian and we're going to use it to make our energy condenser. I broke these two pieces here because I didn't really want these tanks filling up with lava. Uh, just the first two is fine. Um, and then what we're going to do is uh, maybe we'll put oil in these second ones. We'll, we'll just have to see. We'll see where it goes. But for now, we'll, we'll just leave those empty because, um, as you can see, the lava's coming in. It's filling up these tanks. Uh, but then the next the next step is going to be uh, what we're going to do with that lava. And so, um, God, this weather is this weather is utter shit. You know, I don't think there's any place in the world except for maybe Florida that has weather this bad. You know, Florida has its nice days, but like 85 percent of the time, it's just utter shit. And that's basically, uh, that's basically how this world is, you know? No, no sun for the solar panels. Creepers are just jumping around on my expensive diamond pipe, of uh, my diamond wire. You know, they have no, they have no respect for the fact that that, that wire cost me one diamond a piece. In fact, I bet if it were up to this chump right here, he'd probably, uh, he'd probably just blow it up. He'd probably say, you know what, to fuck with your wire. You know, I don't, I don't even know what diamond is. I, I just like to blow shit up. Oh, God, look at, look at all that sweet XP. Am I gonna get some of it? Nah. So this chest, um, once again filling up rather quickly. So I'm just dumping all the the goodies that come out of it into the transmutation chamber. God, I can never get the name right on this. The, the transmutation tablet. Oh man, another diamond. We're just rolling in the diamond lately. Uh, spider eye, I can get rid of that. Can I get rid of these cobblestone pipes? Nah. Um. Let's get some wood in there. The wood, it, wood is actually uh, really expensive. You can trade wood up pretty easily. Um, counts for quite a bit. And soon enough, we won't need wood for our uh, our business with um, energy. We won't have to worry about that. And actually, this is probably going to stop pumping lava in just a little bit because uh, I'm, I think I'm out of range of those oil wells. Um, I could be wrong, but I could be right. Uh, I'll turn this back on. I was just overheating before. Now you can see, uh, even with even with all these solar panels up here, it's it's just a disgrace. This is this a, a, a head-on disgrace. So what I'm gonna do, um, and get that alchemical chest out that I made earlier, and we're gonna stick it in the bottom here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the alchemical chest in the middle. We're gonna surround it with four diamonds, and then we're gonna put some obsidian in the corners. And this makes an energy condenser. Now, an energy condenser is one of those things that you didn't know you needed it until you needed it, but one, once you have it, you, you, you won't know how you lived without it. Um, you just have to take my word for it, because that's just, that's just how it is. So, um, I'm actually going to go and I'm going to turn off our quarry for a little bit. We don't, we don't really need it working full time. I mean, it's, it's been doing a good job. It could, it could use a little rest. And in fact, it's probably even close to being done. See down there, looks like some silver and some gold and some iron and that might be tungsten, but it's probably coal. So we'll just, we'll just shut it off for now. It's, it's fine. Um, just turn off the, the engines, and it's slowly going to come to a stop as, as its energy kind of runs down. Uh, I think. I think it's moving back to its starting position. Uh, maybe not. I don't. I don't even know. No, it's it's still pumping out. It's still pumping out the juice. Ah, oh, there it goes. Now it's done. It's saying, "All right, I'll take five. Accepting the uh, the fact that we're imposing a 
posing a limit. So anyway, this energy condenser, first off, it's huge. But what we can do is we can pump shit in here. And then we can put a diamond or whatever else up in there, and it'll convert everything in the chest to whatever is in this slot. So that's incredibly useful for getting all sorts of random crap that we need and get, getting rid of the, the random crap that we don't. Oh god, this is just... There's so much stuff. Uh, let me just... Actually, I'm going to keep some of that around. We'll keep some of that around. The other thing we need is a, a diamond pipe. And I think we need two diamonds for a diamond pipe. So, um... Go... Ah, uh, we don't make it in there. Two diamonds and a bit of glass, which I obviously don't have because I never have anything that I need on hand. Diamond, diamond, diamond transport. Oh, we get eight of them. Actually, I don't think diamond is the right thing. Crap. <laughs> well, uh, it's fine though. It's fine. We we can use it for something else. Anything left in this pipe? No, the pipe is good. Pipe is empty. We can just get rid of this. And is that what we want? Not at all. Not at all what we want. Um, let's look up. Let's look up pipes. Sometimes, you know, if I if I didn't think that you know I actually had a, a firm grasp on what was going on, I I I'd probably think I was an idiot. Maybe it is a diamond pipe. I think it might be, actually. I think it is. There, there's two kinds of diamond pipe. Um, one is for liquids, one is not for liquids. But, I'm going to go ahead and say that it might just be the right thing that we're looking for. Um, put that there. We don't need the waterproof pipe right now. We just need some regular pipe. By the way, I did—I <laughs> made way too many pipes. Oh yeah, here we go. So this is what we need. Um, we also want some stone pipe because um, we want—we don't want it to connect up inappropriately. Um, so we only need a little—we only need a little bit of stone pipe. Oh god, our house is gonna be so cramped after this. We're not, we're not going to be able to fit in there. Oh, man, we... That's even too much. Oh, man. So, this is our uh, gems and such chest, and then... Oh, there we had it. Uh, my inventory, and you see how it's got, like, different colors for the different, the different directions? What we can do is we can... We can right-click. Can we not right-click? Ah, there we go. We're going to right-click on it, and we're basically going to say what goes in what output. So the yellow one is everything that we don't want. All of the crap. So we'll put some cobblestone in the yellow one. We'll put some dirt in the yellow one. Um, gravel. We don't care about gravel. And uh, what else? What else don't we care about? Um, that's pretty much it for now. If we find that we're collecting all sorts of junk, we can always figure out something to do later. Uh, red is going to be all of our miscellaneous stuff, and silver is going to be uh, all of our important things, like ores, so we'll put some iron ore, we'll put some copper ore, we'll put some tin ore, um, we'll put a little bit of appetite, actually, I don't want appetite in there, uh, uranium, we'll put a little bit of uranium in, uh, redstone, we want redstone to go in there, uh, we want coal to go in there, uh, did I put copper? Yeah. So, um, I'm going to put, did I put tin ore? Put some tin ore. Yeah, that's tin ore. Okay, so, uh, in this chest, this is our energy converter. Uh, we're just going to dump in a whole load of crap that we just don't want anymore. Um, I'm going to put these ores in here, uranium. Uh, appetite. Uh, we don't want flint. Actually, we could set flint to go in here. Put the flint in. Oh! Whoops. Well, you, you just saw kind of how it works. Um, I'm going to get a diamond. We need at least one diamond to 
tell it what we want. And you can see it's got like a little progress bar. That's the uh, that's the progress towards making one diamond. So uh, I actually think we can get rid of some of our nickelite with this chest. Put nickelite in there. Oh god, yeah. And you can see it's it's just converting all the nickelite the useless, useless nickelite into things that, um, things that we actually want. And so even, let's say down the road we're like, ah, you know what, this isn't, well, we don't, we don't need diamonds right now, we just need a ton of cobblestone. We can go ahead and we can put a piece of cobblestone up there and it'll just change everything in, the, in this bottom part into cobblestone. Look at all this diamond we're getting from that nickelite. You see, this is why I did the nickelite. Nicolite, it can be incredibly useful, and nobody even knows it. It's it's like the world's best kept secret. Um, so here's two more things that we don't need. So this chest is pretty much done up here. We can just chop that down. In fact, we can put that in the energy condenser. Just get rid of it. Put all those chests in. Why the hell not? Uh, some stone transport pipe. Uh, I guess we can't get rid of that. Oh, we can't get rid of the indigo flowers either. Can I put them in here? Can I just... No, I can't. Damn it. No. So I guess... I guess we're just going to have to plant them. They're just going to look pretty in our inventory. I wonder if they... I wonder if they actually craft anything. Oh, indigo dye. Huh. Can we put that in here? No, we can't put that in there. Oh, we have a visitor. This late at night. Don't they know... How rude. How, how absolutely rude. These people have no respect for the sensibilities of others. So, not a whole lot of stuff left to do uh, with our current projects. We've got our quarry. I'm going to turn it back on. Turn the quarry back on. I'm actually going to throw this stupid indigo dye in the quarry. We don't need it. Indigo flower. Throw it over there. And um, that's going to be it, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode today. Um, just going to stick around and wait for some of these wonderful, wonderful minerals to kind of start streaming in. Uh, I'll put some of these in one of the machines out here. Macerator. Macerate some more. God, we have so many, so many minerals, so many ores, and we're gonna we're gonna see everything kind of start to come in in just a second. Down here, um, anything that we don't need? No, we're pretty good. I, I hang on one second. All right, so here you can see everything kind of in motion. Um, outside, the quarry is working furiously to pump minerals and ores and materials up. And they're all coming up through the bottom there, and they're going into this this little bit of diamond pipe. And all the crap that we don't need is coming into this chest and converted into energy. The useful minerals and ores are coming up into this chest. You can see. Uh, I need to sort it. Oh God, I need to sort it. We sort it again. There we go. Everything's kind of falling into place. Put these transport pipes back there. God, this is just... Oh, it's wonderful. Look at all that. Look at all this crap that we're getting in our inventory. Or that would be going in our inventory that's not. Oh, man. So, eventually we're going to need a bigger little sorting facility. Our house is kind of turned into um, a, a source of kind of industrialization in this world. And so, um, with this, I'm going to I'm gonna say, have a good night. Uh, oh, look at that. We're still pumping out lava. Lava's filling up these tanks. Um, or actually, it's not. So, um, until next time, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go AFK over there. Um, thanks for watching. Like the video if you liked it. And, uh, yeah, have a good night, guys.